I'm Wayne Stafford, farm here with my son, Stafford Farms. We have a beef cattle, feed out, finished freezer beef and grain and hay. We ended up with some cows, got sick with a mastitis, and we eventually called out all the ones that were a problem, and we didn't have many cows left. And with the price of milk, I just decided to get out of it. We had been doing a few freezer beef. Well, we raised a few for ourselves and then sold what was left, and thought that was a good idea to go into. We started actually even raising, feeding some heifers for another dairy farmer. And we got into the buying some more feeders and finishing them out and selling them. Uh, it was hard to find feeders that didn't have hormones and stuff like that, so we it was getting harder and harder to find them. And when you did, you found a premium. Well, luckily for us, we found this herd of purebred Angus that was for sale, and we originally bought like 25 cows, and we built it up to now, which we got uh, roughly 60 cows and a couple bulls, and then everything we finish out uh, is sold privately. But uh, my grandfather and his brother, along with my dad, they had a little bit of everything. They had dairy, they had swine, they had a butcher shop, they had produce, they had chickens, eggs, geese, turkeys, the whole nine yards. And my grandfather says the only success to farming is always have something to sell. I just took over the farm from my father in 1995, and we're just north of Elkton. We farm about 650 acres, stretched out over like a six-mile area. Most of it is considered right here around the farm, but we do go straight down towards the south, and that's where last year our bad crop year was. I learned about crop insurance in 1999 when we had our first complete crop failure but I've been carrying it ever since. Uh, we have yet to have a f complete failure, not even enough for a claim, but I still keep the revenue insurance. You know, the high cost of inputs, you got to have a backup plan. Uh, it's still re relatively expensive. We usually carry the 70% level, and uh, but all my crops are grouped together because I can have a loss at one end and not at the other, so it's it's the overall average. It, I don't do it field by field just to save some money on premiums. You know, you're just still finding a, a very short profit line. So to just go out there and plant a lot of crops without some kind of insurance and backup, you're not going to make money off of it. I still enjoy going out and planting and then watching it come up. Uh, it's not much fun when you've gone to all that work and watch it wilt away. Yeah, I mean, my son, it's, you know, he wants to farm. I got my grandson, and that's, you know, in the back of my mind. And part of the part of the reason you you go with insurance, you know, you want to make sure something's still here, you know, if they want to take the opportunity to do it. And uh, he certainly shows a big interest in it, so I want to make sure something's here for him.